life involves logistics and especially an RV, full-time RV traveler involves planning, your maintenance on your vehicle, it involves where you're going to stop, where you're going to get your fuel, where you're going to stay tonight, what about campgrounds, what about BLM, what about overnight stay at Walmart or anywhere like that. That all involves what road you're going to take, what map you're going to use, all that is logistics. It's not just transport and storage on a commercial basis. It's everything we do in life involves logistics. It does, think about it. If you boil down the word to its lowest term, it means how are you going to do it, our planning. The other thing, all YouTube channels have no control of what ads are shown on these videos. That's strictly up to YouTube. The next thing we want to do is give a shout out to Connie Brooke, who lives in Arkansas. She has struggled with weight most of her adult life, gaining weight. She's tried everything and she finally hit on one using the, the app Lose It and with her doctor's help and simply controlling what she eats, just watching her diet. That's her diet, is watching what she eats, calorie intake. It's working for her. She has lost 15 pounds. Now, 15 pounds is nearly two gallons of water. This level right here is two gallons of water. It's actually, it's one point, like 1 1.85 gallons of water. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this with water up to the two gallon point we're going to time it with this timer right here. And the amount of time it takes to fill this to two gallons, we're going to take this water hose and this 18 inch balloon, and we're going to try to fill it up the same amount of time. That is going to equal the weight that she has lost. Okay, let's see if this works. This is gonna be the equivalent of 1.8 gallons of water or 15 pounds. This is what it looks like. There it is. That's 15 pounds right there. We're gonna bust it. Just like you, Brooke, busted 15 pounds. And so here we go with 15 pounds. We're gonna drop it like a bad habit. And that is what 15 pounds looks like. Well, one of the great things about this part of the country, just east of San Francisco, is the wonderful weather. Where they're indicating or uh, forecasting uh, that it's going to be uh, one day here, 97 degrees. There's low humidity here, and it's not that hot. You get in the shade, it's cool. Hey, this is one of the reasons we like here. You can see here, the wonderful weather we have here down here and they're uh, a few days from now they're forecasting that it's going to be mostly cloudy it is the first thing in the morning and then it's beautiful blue skies after that it is a wonderful place to be for the weather we've decided to stay here a few more days i have a feeling we're not in kansas anymore I mean, this place really emptied out. It's Sunday. It's not unusual. These uh, hotels here have this really nice. They got a courtyard with them. These little farm uh, implements. Got a jump pad for the kitties there. They enjoy it. Now, what in the world is this thing? It still got glass. There's glass. 
What? It's glass. Inside of that. Now somebody tell me what this is. Get on a little I'm dragging it's around. Got a gauge it's got wheel. Right. There's a gauge. It actually has their own little train here. Dude, wait for you. <laughs> a little house. house. Scooter, get this little house. Yeah, show Daddy where in the little house. I don't know what that is. Out. I gotta go to town. I mean, this now. I gotta go store. I gotta go to the saloon. <laughs> <laughs> I brought my wallet. Casa de Hotel. That's very cute. Thirty Dodge truck. Whoa. Well, it was. It still is. <laughs> it's just in bad shape. Those tires need to be retread. <laughs> You're funny, Cindy girl. I'm not going there. No, we're not going there. That's not a good place to be. Large electrodes, it says. What is it? Large electrodes. Electrode. Special, oh, that, special application. That's a generator. That's what it looks like. Am I right? And here's your current set. You set your current here. The current. Pretty cool, man. Look at that. Yeah, real stat here or whatever it is. Wow. Cindy figured out what it is. It's a welding machine. Take a look at these cabins over here. Yeah, look at this. That is so cool in there. I think what I heard, they're 300 a night, but they sleep eight people. The RV park is absolutely huge. It's gigantic. There's so much more you can't even see from here. Our best RV park so far is here. We're back over this way. Let's take a look at the sky. It's like this every day. His father made these beings. Hi, I'm Cindy. This is Jerry and that's Scooter. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> I really appreciate it. We will eat these up. Okay. You like them? Um, yeah. They just have a little kick to it. Yeah. But they're very good. I can't tell you how much we appreciate these. I'm going to go tell you, Daddy. Oh, cowboy beans. Dad just made them um, up, I think. Oh, good. well... Remarkable, most remarkable thing. This is like a three year old, I would say, riding a bike without training wheels. That's really phenomenal, I think. What a clever kid. Look at this. No training wheel, y'all. You said you got to learn something every day. I said, if you don't, you're. <laughs> <laughs> and what we're looking at here is Highway 152, which uh, is, uh, runs alongside the RV park. It connects the San Joaquin Valley to the coastal range mountains, and it can be busy. There's hardly any other uh, road uh, that crosses if you, other than going way north or way south. This is the one you'll have to take. Uh, 
Good. 